Now the dust that picked up in uh, western Oklahoma, western Kansas, western Nebraska, that's what we got here. Kind of a pinkish dust, you know. And it didn't pick up here in Oklahoma unless in the western part. Not like our farms where I live, we didn't have no dust that picked up there. So it came from other places? Yeah, it came from the west. And it went clear to the eastern seaboard. And I had a sister, well, a pastor, your dad married her, she lived, she was almost 101. And they had a ranch in uh, eastern Colorado at Akron. And she said it got so bad there that they had to, of course, it, is, it wasn't electric lights. Today it'd be electric lights, but they had light to cool our lamps by daytime. The sea game, that's a dark. So it was dark outside during yeah, the day? Yeah, of course, we didn't have, the, the darkest that I can remember, it went to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he's sure gonna break it now. <laughs> <laughs> With both of us here. Yeah, I'll tell him about that. We're talking about the dust bowl. Mm -hmm. And uh, you buried Elma. Right. Your sister. She lived it over 100 years. And she lived, they had a ranch. It was the summer's kitchen where they cooked in the summer. And these were all your sheds. And, and there's President uh, Bush's this chicken house. <laughs> Why do you, oh, is that what you call it? Huh? Why do you call well, it ever, that? Well, every time you take a picture down at this Crawford Ranch, he's in front of that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you where I was born. Oh, okay. Right down there. And I took this one down, and that's about ready to fall. Now, that's where I was born in. Which uh -huh. part? Right that, that there, that's about a 12 by 14 room. Did you save it for that reason? No. <laughs> no. Can we get in? How can you get in there? Well, let's see this gate. Har Harold was down here with it. Rush hold, and he knocked this. There we go. Yeah, they open slot there. Okay. What's this, this is where you were born? I was born in that room. At, here, the other room came up to about, uh, straight with this one up to about right here. So I, I'll tell you what I got here. What is that? I guess this is, this is some of Dad's old horse liniment. How about that? I had it open here a year or two ago. I guess it's still good. What, what was it for? Horse liniment. Horse liniment. Smell it? Woo <laughs> yeah. That's his old horse liniment. Yeah. How old do you think that is? How old is that bottle? It's probably uh, 90 years old. <laughs> That's a dehorner for a cow. Oh, for the dehorner and cow. I, I'll dehorn a mini one there. So you put the horn in there. You just go boom, down like that. Cut you know? them off. And they holler, don't they? Well, some of them holler and they bleed a little. That's today, you know, with all the technology. That's an old dehorner. That uh, even in the cattle industry. Watch your head here. Now, you know, they the cows are bred up, but where they don't have no horn. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Old yeah. wood preserver. You know what that came source on the internet? <laughs> Ed Watson's daughter down here. He found a can in his junk of Texaco. Gallon, gallon gas Texaco back in the 30s. Uh -huh. She put it on the internet and it brought $35. <laughs> well, you got some Texaco right here. Some what? A Texaco jar of, yeah. what's it? Yeah, it says Molly Tex yeah, Grease. Yeah. This thing's going to go down. One of See, these this, uh, we had a big storm here. Oh, yeah. And I, it threw the, pushed this thing over. Yeah, it's like me, it's getting old. Oh, okay. And August put this in here, and my dad was helping him. And something on that stall there, some two before, something fell down and hit his head. And August said he never was good again after, after that. Who did it hit? Your father? Yeah, yeah. He said he took off up to the house. And he bought those two silos down there. And then uh, he got the flu, you know, in World War II. Is there a pond on the other side of the this? The pond's over here. I never did know where your yeah, pond was. Yeah, and uh, I tell you, uh, you know Walden Cleaners? Uh-huh. I sold him two lots there, I don't know, some time ago. He said, Odd, would you sell that pond? 
And I said, well, I guess I would. He said, what do you want for it? And I said, 50,000. <laughs> and he bought it. <laughs> right over here? Yeah, and I told him, I said, there's not a pond in Cleveland County that I'd give $50,000 for it. Mm -hmm. And one year, well, uh, the first automatic heating brooder came out. And my dad bought one, and it had, you know, automatic control uh -huh. wafers. Right. So there was about 400 chickens in there, four or <laughs> 500, and the dead gum thing went out. And no, it no, it oh, it uh, it overheated, it heated, overheated those chickens. And there was about two hundred nice chickens in there, fryers, oh. about that many that it overheated, and they're just little old scrubs. And they died. No, uh, they finally come out of it, but there was altogether different. <laughs> Land as far as you could see a level. Mostly weed, you know, and cattle. And it got so bad there through those uh, uh, dust bowl days. I was telling him you had to turn the lights. Well, there wasn't no light. Literally, there's a coal oil lamp. Coal, coal lamps, yeah. Coal oil. Coal oil yeah, lamps. Kerosene. Right. And they had, she said they had, uh, midday, they had to light their lamps. Because it was so sit. dark. Yeah, so dark. Uh, 